want to welcome everybody to our Christmas wrapping class. And I want to tell you a little bit about before we will start. It's always fun to have uh, a gift nicely wrapped um, versus just getting a gift um, in the back, right? And it's always the that what counts. And uh, it doesn't have to be, it's a season of giving and we don't have to give expensive gifts. It can be a book or chocolates or whatever um, calendar, right? That's a good idea if you have a good friend. And if, it nicely, if it's nicely wrapped, it really brings that feeling of happiness, right? And so, and it's the time that you spend. And so I just wanted to show you uh, just the idea of the, I just wrapped this one up. But just the adding, you know, making a simple bow and adding fun things. This one I added bell and a little cane. It makes it more fun than just wrapping it in the paper, right? And, uh, and I know that um, as we get older, uh, that it's hard for us because our hands, they're, you know, they're stiff, right? So, so what are we going to do? We're going to start with a few exercises just to warm up your hands and just get, get them going in the morning. We're going to open your hands. You know, these exercises and close and open and close and open and close and open and close. And you can rotate your hands out and you can rotate back in. Very good, close and rotate your hands out and back in. One of the good exercises is when we open your hands and close fingers down and slowly open and close, slowly open and close and you can pull on each finger if you want just to slightly not that <laughs> you pull and you feel the pain and, um, and <laughs> shake your hands very good so but anyways it's always fun to put Christmas music I cannot put any Christmas music because it kind of defeats the voice on the zoom but if you do wrap some gifts at home it's always fun to uh, put some Christmas music on and this is actually you take it as an exercise because you're exercising your fingers and if you have a lot of gifts to wrap you can spread it you can do one gift a day make it a uh, 12 days of Christmas challenge so so today I'm gonna wrap these Merry Christmas chocolates <laughs> and it's easier to uh, wrap box rectangular or square box right so usually what I do and you know this so I make sure that I'll put the facing uh, gift face down right and then I'm gonna put one part right and this is very simple we know this to make it nice I usually turn this flip over that we don't have any cut ends or you know uneven parts and you can even use your fingers to just go over right and so simple wrapping technique you can either use glue and glue it down or you can use the tape whenever work i think i send you the glue but the tape i'm using today because i run out of the glue so i'm using the tape but anyway so right here usually i push it down Make sure now you have to be careful because sometimes when you push on the paper, sometimes it's ripped. That's what I usually have troubles with. So slightly push it down and then push it like in a triangle. See, I don't know, can you see that? So making sure that it's nice and kind of all, you know, you have, you don't have any bulk sticking out. Make sure that it's nice. And then I flip it over, right? If you and then you can either fold it again and make it nicer that it's nothing is sticking right or you can or you can put it flat and just use the tape or you can use that glue so you can put the glue under and put the tape right 
So, and now you have to do the other side. So push it nicely down, push it close, and then push that corner in, and nice, and then push the other corner in, and then again, come back, right? And there you go, okay. So, and that's just the basic, I mean, everybody knows that, right? But but sometimes people are having, we're having a harder time. Now for the bowl making, if we wanna put the bowl on, on the gift what you have, we can get it all prepared, uh, or you can make a bowl and stick it anywhere you like. You can, you can make a bowl separately. So I'm gonna just get it ready on this gift, but we can also, we don't have to worry about if you don't have a gift, we can uh, make a separate bowl that you can put as a different in your room and you, or you. the best thing is to use wired uh, ribbon right so and you can actually this one is actually a christmas ribbon that i we find um uh online and they come in a different you know you can choose different um uh pictures you know christmas stuff this one that says merry christmas so there is a lot of choices um, Amazon has really great, I, since now we're all staying at home, Michael's, you know, having a nice, uh, uh, nice uh, different varieties. Uh, also, you know, in a regular grocery store, Hobby Lobby. So basically, I take that ribbon, and this one is, so we don't want to give anybody that piece of paper, right? So, and sometimes, you can see that this ribbon has a lot of <laughs> sparkles. So <laughs> we're gonna be all sparkly. So, but anyway, so I go, so this is the bottom tape part, right? So we wanna place it nicely flat on the top, right? And then going, and that it's even, so make sure it's even. Then we're going to um, tie it right under. And so this is how it looks like then nicely evenly and I usually like to go under right so you flip one side under right and then you flip the other under everybody has it like that and oh, yeah. yeah so this one is shorter but that's okay you know you just you know before you mm -hmm. cut your ribbon you measure it um, but it's okay to be short and I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a tie, right? So, so this is already kind of nicely wrapped gift. This is the easy way, right? And so we wanna make sure that though the ends looks kind of funky, right? So we wanna make sure they, they look nice. So easy way is when you, when you put the ribbon in a half, right? And then you take your scissors and then you can just cut in a 45 degrees nice cut and and now we have a nice uh symmetry this is a simple way and this already looks very nice right and you can you can find fun stuff you can put a candy cane in there to look nice mm -hmm. right uh fry store actually they selling this box and they have the cones right so i would just either take a wire and just put you know there is like a little hook and then you would wire, you know, bring it with the wire up there. And so you can make it all nice and fun. Or you can, I find this, this bigger bells, right? Like I had on that other gift, mm -hmm. right? Or yeah. the little, little bells that I send you, I received this, right? Mm -hmm. So you can decide how big of the boy we want to have, bigger or smaller. So if it's a smaller gift, I'm going to go with the small bow and then i'm going to just make sure that you look at it how there is a nice print from the out and from the inside it looks a little plain right so make sure that yeah. you have that nice nice thing from the out that it's not hiding and then i'm going to go and fold it and fold it the other way and so let me make it a little bigger this is little so you can fold it as many times you know i cut that for you and maybe you want to do more so i'm Folding from one side to the other side, one to the other, right? And that's nice. 
And so when you have a dough full that sometimes, you know, um, and some, somebody who makes bow, they like to make like a little cut in the center from each side. I'm not gonna worry about it. I just wanna make it very, very simple for you. And there is two ways we can, uh, we can get this bow together. One way is when you don't use this and you just place the ball, um, ball on your gift and just tie these together, right? Or, or you can use this, right? And we're just gonna put it on the top and go ahead and just uh, make it tie, right? So you can just go many, many times around that it's nice, right? And so basically, now we're gonna pull all these little bows out and make sure that they're nice and you know, you can stick your finger inside and make it nice and fluffy. It's all about fluffiness, right? <laughs> and so pull it out. And then the other one, other side, make them all, you know, kind of even. And now if you have the ends, we can cut them again. We can put them in the half, you know, those two parts. And we can cut them in a in a triangle right and then the other one too if you like very good okay so now we have our simple bowl and we can start adding things to it we can make it more a little higher just like that so we can start adding things to it so you have your bells right so if you feel like you want to put, put those bells on, you can. And um, I also send a little wire. So you can always put the bells, instead of I had it on that thread, you can always put the bells on a wire, right? And I also send you these little kind of a figurines. It should be a tree or angel they made. They, they are made out of the wood, so you can also put those on if you like, that's your choice, right? So I will put a couple bells on mine and just put it around. And now we're gonna place that on the top of the, on the top of the, on the top of your bowl, right? And make sure you tie it under as well and tied really nice but it's all you know nice and tight very good and you can cut these you know. so now if you want to keep keep this underneath you can use it to add it to the gift and make it all you know, you can add it underneath where I, I wrapped already that gift and you can tie it again, making sure that it's all nice and tight, right? So it sticks, that it doesn't, we don't lose it, right? And you can actually cut the ends if you like, or you can put them underneath of the, of the bowl and make sure you play with it that you fluff it out, that everything looks nice. And, uh, and if you need to cut the ends, you can. A little more that it's sticking up. Maybe this one is sticking a little more. And you can cut it a little bit more if you like. And cut that a little more. Anyways, so, and you can get creative, you know, I just put those little two bells on this one, right? So it looks yeah. nice. The cane you can just stick under, right? So you can just stick it, stick it right there. That brings a little bit of fun to it, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, make, take that one, if you wanted to write the note to somebody, um, you can you can have one of these cards, you know, and name tags. 
and you can tie it under. And then that's kind of what brings nice, nice um, kind of a finished look to your whole gift. And, and so here you go. So here is a, you know, this is the tag. You can buy a box of the already pre-made um, bows, right? But uh, <laughs> I think when you make it from scratch, it comes from the heart, right? <laughs> so it's, it's, more, it's more fun. So you can actually give a gift that it shows with the ribbon, right? So again, so I'm going to put this. Uh, I'm going to actually cut a little piece out. Hold on a second. Okay. Let's say right there. Okay. So making sure again, so you're going to put nice one flat on the top. I don't know. Then you go around and like we did the other way. Now I'm going to flip it over and then go under. So I'm going under and under. And now when I have them under, then you're going to tie them right really together then it's all tight so so this is your thing get it uh, you know ready so now you're gonna take that other piece where you have left and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go back and forth back and forward right whenever it allows you and you can even add different colors yeah. add maybe purple right so and it's more fun. So you're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. This is really good exercise for your hands, right? <laughs> back and forth and back and forth. So now I'm gonna put them together, right? And hold them tight. Now put it on the top, and this is the hardest part when we wanna tie it all together. Christy. To see where is the other piece yeah so and don't get upset if it doesn't go the right way you know this should be fun so whenever it's you know how it goes so now i have it ready like this it's and so i have these ends and you take the sharp part of the scissors and like pull it right so that makes nice nice ends now la end of the touch right and so and then when you have some of these that are still cut you can do those too so they're nice and curly right yeah. and you can do the other one yep and then you can also play with it so this is a nice bow but you can also play with it you can take a longer one and put it under a little bit right so it goes like from the longest part of that gift to the other, right? So it can go right there. And we can add the candy cane to it, right? That's always a fun part. Mm -hmm. And so, so the gift doesn't have to be really wrapped, really, you know, in a gift paper. You can give somebody this with the nice stack and, and uh, put their name on it. So the same way how we wrapped um, the other gift, you can you can uh, take it all around, right? Do the same thing, and then and then you can use your uh, make your bow on a top. Remember when you were a kid, you used to make a snowflakes, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we put the paper around, right? Around. And one more time, right? And now we can make a cuts right in the paper, right? So you can making sure that you have a sharp scissors, right? So usually triangle. Very basic snowflake. So now what you can do, I'm gonna just take this wrapping off this paper. Just I'm gonna just cut it. So what you can do is to take your gift right and again so let's say so you're gonna put it around right 
and then you can just take the bow, whatever we made, right? I'm just gonna cut it here, and then I can put it. Oh, this one broke, so so here. So here you go, and you can you can wrap it. You can wrap it around, you know, hold it flat, and so that would be another idea. Okay. Easy way, Bo, I cut it for you, actually. This is a Hallmark paper, and again, I found it on Amazon, and they have uh, these drawings from the back that you can cut your bow. So, so basically, you get a three things. You get this part, right? And you get the longer part, and then you have this one little piece with it. So three things. And that's where you can use your glue or tape, whatever you like. And I'm going to show you the final product looks like this. So it's a, it's a bow, right? Oh, yeah. It's a okay. pretty, pretty bow and you can put it, and you can just glue it on that, um, on that gift, either glue it or you can again put a bow around it, right? So, yeah. yes, so basically this is very simple. So we're gonna place this one first, put it on a table, right? And I'm gonna, so you have that one. Then you take uh, this longer part, right? You want to make sure that it's the right side up because you're going to, and there is little, uh, it shows you where to place it in the center. Yeah. One part and second part on a top, right? So you already have like a, you're already holding the bow, right? And now you put that bow on the top of the other. And then the last part is that we take this little piece and put it around, place it around. And that's that, that's that part that you, you're using your glue, so from the other side, or tape, whatever works for you. I'm gonna use the tape. So you can either glue it or tape it. And uh, if it, you guys have a wonderful rest of the weekend and do some gift wrapping, listen to some Christmas music, do some stretches, drink some hot cocoa, and have fun with it, okay? Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.